What's up? What's up everyone and welcome back to another video, another every freaking Wednesday, another welcome to Nellyville. Okay, whatever, I'm getting on my own nerves. So anyways, I'm not going to hold you guys long. I just want to talk a little bit about Gabby Malone and Hannah Meach. No, I'm just playing. No, I wanted to talk about Gabby Hannah because she's back. She's back, she's back, she's back, darling. And if you don't know who Gabby Hanna is, go check her out. I don't, I mean, um, I don't know what more to say. She's a YouTuber, some stuff happened, she took a little hiatus, and now she, she's back. Is hiatus the right word? Sure it is. Anyways, before we get into Gabby Hanna and my makeup, go ahead and subscribe and give this video a big thumbs up because I promise you're going to love it while you're ready. Go ahead and click the post notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a brand new video. Me. Why do I want to talk about Gabby? And do my makeup. Well, I mean, what else are we going to do? We haven't done a makeup video in a while, right? This is not a tutorial, so if you want to know how to do your makeup, Go find somebody who knows how to do it, because it ain't me, okay? But, you know, on a serious note, though, I want to talk about Gabby because I, I'm a huge fan, and she's one of those, like so many other YouTubers, like so many other celebrities, people love to hate her. They love to hate her, and, you know, look, of course I'm on Gabby's payroll. So, you know, take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt. You're more than welcome to like who you want to like. But this, this bandwagon hate, guys, I think we can all agree it's gone too far. You know, we're good Judies, so most of y'all think like me anyway. And, you know, and if you don't like Gabby for the sake of, you know, maybe you can't just get into her content, you know, that's fine. But if you don't like her because of some rumors you allegedly heard, I mean, it's not fair. So let's backtrack here. So Gabby Hanna started out on Vine some years ago, okay? We know how old Vine is, right? So you know it's been a while. Vine shut down, so she switched on over to YouTube and since then has made quite the career for herself. She's doing music now, she's got a book out, go check it out, she's got another book coming out, go ahead and pre-order. The girls mind their own business and yet somehow, some way, you got these bitter, bitter ass Judy Topangas always just at her Right, and it's always the same one staring up trouble with her. You know, also, uh, go get to your James Charles Unleash Your Inner Artist. Uh, use code James for 10% off. Not about James Charles, you know, we're talking about Gabby Hanna. Gabby Hanna, right? You know, and I'm just gonna jump around here. You know, this, this video has really no rhyme or reason. We're just here, we're just hanging out. Right? Right. Gabby, in the latest kind of situation that's going on with had with Gabby. She just started getting like some serious hate. She has some mental health things that she that she deals with and she deals with it very openly, which is one of the reasons why I like her because she's very honest about it. She uses her platform to spread knowledge and, and just spread her experience and by her having a, a younger audience it's good to see somebody and at you know her level. It's good to just kind of look at somebody and say, okay, yes, I can relate to that. She's open and about open about it. She's not ashamed of. It. But anyway, so with all that being said, you know, a few couple months ago, it just kind of got to a breaking point. I'm not gonna go into details about bullying and stuff because that's not what this video is, and I don't want to shine light to the negative. But just know that things got really heavy for her and it got to a point where you know she had to just completely disconnect so she disconnected all of her socials she deleted i mean not just like oh okay i'm going off the internet for a while she deleted everything she was gone and i have to admit i was really sad i was really sad that gabby was gone because i know she also has a podcast and right before she you know took this like what six week break from the internet she did upload a final podcast and went into detail about what was going on her feelings on everything the people that were attacking her it turned into a legal situation i mean that's how bad it was it wasn't just this cyber bully uh, you know, bad bandwagon hate. It turned into something where it was really some deformation of character. YouTube was shadow banning her. If you don't know what that means, go ahead and look that up. 
you know, it was a thing and it was very emotional. And then after the upload of that podcast, she just was gone. She just disappeared. It was over. I was like, oh my gosh, where's Gabby? She does have a Patreon, which is another social media platform most people aren't familiar with. But uh, go look that up. I'm not telling you to look stuff up, but if I if I spend all day giving you the details about stuff, you know, we'd be here all day and we're not. So she had a Patreon that she was a little active on while she left the other main social media platforms, which are, you know, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, while her Patreon, which is more, more fan club, Bye. more people who are really, like, if you're subscribed to someone's Patreon, like, you're there too, like, you, you're really into them. But then even that turned into an issue because you had people signing up for her Patreon recording her content and then uploading it elsewhere and then like using it against her. So like it was all a mess. But anyway, so she left her podcast uh, that she does with Irene Walton. Irene is another YouTuber and another content creator who also has a Patreon. So go find her. Irene Walton, she's great. Yeah, she gave us a little bit of insight of what was going on. She took a much needed break and now she's back. So what else is going on with Miss Gabby? Like I said, she has a podcast. At first, it was called Box of Thoughts, and she co-hosted it with Irene Walton. But now, Irene has left, not because of any drama, just because Irene was pursuing some things in her own personal career, which was always understood that Irene was going to stay on the podcast forever. It was just a temporary thing, and so here we are. What else? The name of the podcast has changed to unfollow your dream so if you want to go listen to gabby hannah's podcast it's called unfollow your dreams darling and you can pretty much find it on uh I, yeah every streaming platform that has podcasts so you're welcome okay i'm glad that she's back she did come back to her podcast first and then slowly made her way back to the social media world and I think she's addressing things in a lot more healthy way. Before her break, Gabby was very cautious of what she was doing. She was very self-aware of what she was saying and how she was acting. She was worried about people manipulating everything and now she's taking this break for the first time in like the years, I don't know, six, seven plus years. And now she's just back to creating content that makes her happy, that makes her thrive and we love to see it. I know the latest podcast that I listened to uh, she did with her boyfriend Peyton and they are adorable oh, together but she is looking for another female co-host so drop in the description down below if you have any suggestions of who you think she'll pick or who you think she should co-host her podcast with. I don't mind listening to her alone but I get you know you like to have that banter that back and forth so uh yeah unfollow your dreams now as for her book if you're looking for a good read especially if you like poetry go read it i just ordered her first book yesterday at uh adult adolescence go get that and then dandelion the new book is up for pre-order now there are three different versions of this book Target has an exclusive, Barnes & Noble has an exclusive, and oh, I forgot the third. Somebody else has an exclusive. Target, Barnes & Noble, and jeez, I can't remember. Put the third one right here, Chanel. All right, one of the books comes with like a, an art package so you can print off these pages and you can there, you can paint them, you can color them. And I'm like, this is a coloring book. It's kind of a coloring books and art you know, activities are coming are really big with the adult community right now. So I thought that that was really cool that she did that. And what these drawings are, are actually drawings uh, from the book that have been blown up that you can create however you want and frame them and put them around your house or whatever. And this video has turned into a full blown promo for all things Gabby Hannah, and I'm gonna get it. <laughs> My, by the way, both of her books are poetry books. So the new one, Dandelion, that's coming out has three different versions. So you have all the po poetry content, but then they have like some extra elements. So the second one being she has letters to strangers. They're letters that she wrote to people that she never sent. So it'll be like about people that she's met just kind of throughout her life that left some unknown impression on her. And she wrote letters to them. And I, I think that that is 
It's so neat and so touchy. It is so unique. The third version of the book has short essays from different events from her childhood. I believe is what's in the third version. Uh, the first book, Adolescent, Adult Adolescence, uh, was a New York Times bestseller, so I, I don't see why this one wouldn't be also a bestseller. It's it's all, always so sad when people that you enjoy watching just kind of disappear and you see them going through it, especially YouTubers, because you see so much of them on a personal level and you get connected to them in a way that you don't really get connected to a different type of celebrity. You actually see into their lives and you really feel like you're a part of it. And that's the fun thing about YouTube is that you really get closer and have more of a bond with your, your following. So to see her leave and now that she's back and she seems healthy and happy, I, I, I love it and I can't wait to hear more and see more. But more than that, guys, we have to stop with the, oh, I can't like this person because the world tells me I can't. Like, don't let what the majority or what your friend group or what some, a bunch of people on the internet, this bandwagon hate, don't let that deter you from enjoying the things and the content that you like. Like, that's not right. Like, for instance, like I said, Gabby's first book was a New York Times bestseller. And then now you have people saying stuff like, oh, well, that used to be my favorite book and now I don't like it anymore because now it's been like two or three years later and now people want to come out and say, oh my gosh, this book is so terrible. I'm like, apparently it wasn't if it was a New York Times bestseller. And sometimes content and music and stuff comes out and it was good at the time and then it's like, oh no, I don't like it anymore because things change, mindsets change opinions change and that that's fine that's not really the point that i'm making the issue is that if you like something then like it don't stop liking it because somebody said somebody else's opinion of it was trash you know what i mean like if you if you liked it and then you now you don't like that's fine but like let that be your own thought like y'all get what i'm saying like y'all know y'all smart i look i, I just i am so over the bandwagon hate, the cancel culture. You know, you read one blog about somebody and you feel like that's who they are. People made bad decisions in the past. It doesn't mean that, that they're still that person today. So, like, evolve, like, let it go. I don't know. It's the popular, cool thing to hate people and they do the same thing to Doja Cat. They do the same thing to James Charles. They do the same thing to Miley, to Taylor. Chris Brown. I mean, people make it so uncool to like someone and then you have their fans that are like, oh, I like them, don't hate me. Like, no, screw that. I love Bad Baby. People are like, ew, why do you like her? She's the, first of all, she's a child. <laughs> Bad Baby is a child. Okay, we're not gonna do that. And I know I use a lot of the same examples a lot of the times when I talk about stuff like this, but um, it's because it's the same people that I get the most hate for for not for liking them. If I am a fan of someone, I wouldn't be a fan in public, on the internet and private. People anymore now, they find content and YouTubers and stuff that they like, and then they immediately like get on the internet and see, oh, am I allowed to like them? Oh, I like this YouTuber. Let me go see if Google says I can like them or not. Get out. Yeah, we're not doing that. I just wanted to get on and here and do a little rant about Gabby because as you can tell I'm very excited about her being back. We have a lot in common. We're the same age. We have a lot of the same interests. So I'm a fan. You know what can I say? All right. So um, that's this look all complete. Please uh, leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts about bandwagon hate. Go ahead and click the big red subscribe button. Give this video a big thumbs up. And while you're at it, go ahead and click the post notification bell so you can notify every time I upload a brand endorsement deal with Gabby Hanna. No, just kidding. Yeah, like who you like and don't like who you don't want to like. Okay, is that fair? Okay, I'll stay tuned. Love you. Bye. <laughs>